Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave, also going by Geezer Geek, as you see up there. And I'm wanting to talk to you a little bit about a quirk I had with OBS Studio. And I made a video about this just yesterday and did not have a solution for the quirk until today. So I'm remaking the video I made yesterday. So here's the deal. Up in the upper right-hand corner of my OBS, I did not have controls. You know, the buttons for closing the program, for making it smaller so that you can resize it and reposition it on your screen, or the one to minimize it, send it to your tray. Those buttons weren't there. As you can see from the other screen captures I have there, I have the corners of Terminal and of LibreOffice Impress. Normal behavior for them, but for some reason, OBS didn't have those buttons. In addition, the entire application continually covered the entire screen. That includes the panel on the left side of the screen where you have your favorites, and it included the bar at the top of the screen where you have the time and those kinds of things the system tray up there where you can adjust your settings. All of that was covered. Additionally, I've worked with a dual monitor setup for years now. And more recently, I've gone to a quad monitor setup, uh, two over two. And I like to be able to drag an application from one monitor to another to fit my workflow, however it works best for me at the moment. I didn't have that ability now with OBS. All the others, all the other applications were fine. OBS would not drag, can't take that top bar and drag it to another window, another, uh, another monitor. Why? So I had questions that I wanted to get to the OBS developers, find out what's going on. Is this expected behavior? And if not, how do I resolve it? If, um, if it is expected behavior, then do they expect to change that at any time? I wanted to know if my experience was typical. I suspected it wasn't. I still do not know why I had the issue, but I did find a solution. But first, let me tell you what didn't work. What I did, shut down the application, shut down Ubuntu, restarted Ubuntu, restarted the application, same behavior. Okay, get more, uh, <laughs> get more extreme on it. Uninstall the application, shut down Ubuntu, restart Ubuntu, reinstall the application, shut down Ubuntu, restart Ubuntu, restart the application. Same exact behavior. And with the last uh, reinstallation, I also did the auto-remove process to get rid of any unneeded components, in case one of them might have been interfering with proper behavior of OBS. No difference. What's going on? Well, the important information here is I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. I'm using GNOME 3.36.3. I'm using OBS version 26.02, 64-bit. OBS has been functioning normally in terms of its recording ability. Um, I've, I've done not only this video, but the one previous to it, and several more prior to that this weekend, and more prior to that, but this other set of features just was missing and so I was wanting to figure that out. My installation of OBS was not from the uh, Ubuntu software tool that you go to in your your menu of applications and it takes you to the Ubuntu universe and what you'll find there is a snap version of the program. I did not 
I'm not using the snap. I have used the snap, but I'm not using it presently. I used their repository, used their instructions from the OBS site in order to install it directly from them. And as I said, with the last installation, I also did the auto-remove. What was the solution for me? Go up to that uh, upper left corner where it says File, drop down that menu, and you'll see a little ways down, near the bottom, you'll see the option Always on Top. I said, well, that's the behavior I'm getting. It's not ticked doesn't make sense to tick it. I ticked it. And now I have that window. Okay, that's strange enough. Let's go back. So I went back and I unticked it again and I still had that window. Behavior now is whether that checkbox or that you know that option is ticked or not, I do have the proper you know or the expected features for controlling this program, closing it, minimizing it, being able to reduce its size and etc. Those controls you expect to find in the upper right hand corner of the program are, are there now. Why did this solve that? I don't know why ticking and unticking that box solved it. I don't know what the problem was that it solved. I don't have that information. But this is what worked for me and if you have the problem of OBS not having those controls in the upper right hand corner. Give this a try. It's what solved it for me. That's it for this one. Hope it's helpful. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay curious.